Okay, guys, we're back. And I'd like to welcome you once again to Uncle Robbie Science Corner, featuring your favorite batshit crazy uncle, me. Anyhow, right now, it's time for the acid test. In our last video, we saw our hero solder together the space, and it actually went together really easily. There's just a couple of things that maybe should have been done differently on the wiring diagram where the guys who put the uh, the controls together, because I did order a, well, I didn't order a custom set of controls. The controls that went in this base actually came with the pickups that I put into my Maple Glow base. I just didn't see any rhyme or reason to change out the guts in that base, and I really didn't have time that night, so, because um, I did it the night before. I played Brewery Oma Gang with Flux Capacitor, and I just wanted to, um, I don't know, look like Lemmy and be really freaking cool. Um, but anyway, guys, here's the challenge. Now, right now, what we're going to do for the first time ever, we're going to see if these pickups actually work. And we're going to do, I call it the acid test, okay? An acid test in history was the way they tested gold to see if it was real, okay? In this case, if this doesn't fucking work out right now, I'm going to go downtown, find some freaking hippie Grateful Dead fan, cop a freaking tab, and I'm just going to trip out on acid and, you know, run around naked in the snow until I freeze to death. Because I tell you what, this is really trying my patience, okay? And um, I, I'll, I'll show you something about the toggle switch. You didn't see how many times I soldered it and unsoldered it, um, you know, off camera, but... I actually put it back together the way it was at first because, I don't know. I'll explain it to you. Anyway, we're going to go down here, and this is called a tap test, okay? All right, guys? All right, you can see the base, okay? Let's get it. A little bit there, okay. And a tap test, I got it plugged into my reference amp, which is my Mesa Boogie 400 Plus. Beautiful amp. I mean, they don't make them anymore because nobody makes anything that's good anymore. Everything's cheap, crappy shit made in China. And uh, I feel bad for the rest of the world because, you know, they don't have great... Or actually, I feel bad for the new generation because they won't be able to get new stuff uh, that was made in the USA that was actually put together kind of well. I mean, not saying the Chinese stuff is bad, but whatever. I digress. Okay, here's the tap test. I have my, my handy-dandy scissors. I've turned both volumes all the way up. I have the selector switch in the center position, and can you hear that? That means it's on. Wow, these magnets are really strong in this. I mean, they're good. This, the magnets, this one, this, this magnet's really strong. That's really strong. This one's not so strong, and this one's not quite as strong as that one. Don't know what it means. Don't care. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get my friend Rich to take me to the uh, the NAM show so I can talk to the guys at Seymour Duncan and I can talk to the guys at Hipshot about all this crap. Now, here's the test, okay? I'm going to flick the switch down, okay? Both volumes are up, okay? So in the down position, it means the bridge pickup is on. I guess down... With the wiring for this means bridge. In my experience, down always meant neck position, and you can see it's this pickup's not on because it's not making any noise, and now we're going to flick it this way. Listen to that. The, the, the signal is much, much, m wow, stronger when you only have one pickup on. And actually, the, it feels like the mag voltage or the magnetism to this one has decreased a little because you can see the way the scissor hits it. Wow. That's a pretty strong magnet. And it proves that these scissors are made out of metal. Okay, so up means bridge. And what we're going to do is turn the bridge volume off. Okay. And it works. Okay. Now we're going to flick it to neck position with the volume off and neck position with the volume on. Okay. 
Now I'm going to flick it to the center position just to make sure that they go on and off individually. So this is both pickups on. Okay. Okay, that's, that's bridge volume down. I mean neck volume down, sorry. And that's bridge volume up. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it around. So Houston, we've successfully installed the ding dang pickups. Albeit, I'm going to have to get used to flicking the switch, you know, down for, down for neck and up, up for bridge. But lo and behold, it works. It's a flapjack flipping goddamn genius that I am. I mean, I'm a flapjack flicking god... I don't even know how to say it at this point. And I haven't had all that much to drink. Really haven't. Um, but I've gotten together so far this far. So what I'm going to do right now is focus back down on here, get closer to the base, and we're going to put on this pick guard. And I hope nobody cringes too much. I hope, probably not more than I am. I mean, my sphincter is like... <laughs> right now that I have to actually drill holes in this thing to fit this stupid ass all parts made in Japan pick guard but whatever I want to get this thing done I don't think I'm ever going to sell this one I mean and if I do I don't think anybody's going to care about a couple extra holes under the pick guard really um I'll probably leave this to my son after I go outside and fucking hang myself from the oak tree if it doesn't turn out okay but you know what? It's gonna, and I'm gonna be alive, and I'm gonna be around forever, guys. So anyway, let's get back down to the project. Okay, so I'm gonna focus back in here, okay, to the pick guard. Now, uh, let me let me let me move my shit around here for a minute, make it more comfortable for myself to work on, okay? And uh, and for for all you viewers and in, in, in the home viewing audience. Uh, to check this one out. Okay, so that's about the right angle. So, I'm looking for the hole, and the hole here, uh, wow, to get to that hole would be really, really tight. And this one here, this hole, holy cow, this hole to match, if you can see, I'll stick, I don't have any, okay, I'll stick an Allen wrench in to where this hole is actually situated. So here's Here's where one hole here would be, and moving this down, you can't, all right? So, moving that up, here's a hole here that I can barely get it in, and that would just push the pick guard here right up against the neck. So, what I'm going to just do, guys, and you're going to hate me for doing this, I re well, let's see, if I remove this screw maybe i can situate it a little better i'm trying to do as little damage as possible to this instrument because i tell you what i i hate well this is a 2015 so it's not really a vintage instrument um well it's a 2015 or so i have been told uh no that's not gonna do it okay i think i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with this this hole as the pilot hole I'm going to get this as close as possible. I don't know. All right, well, if I can get these two holes. This pick guard is drilled like, I don't know, must have been a bunch of Japanese guys on a Friday drink, uh, drinking sake and eating sushi or whatever the hell they do there in Japan. I'm just going to thread this in by hand. I got the rest of my screws right here. Okay, I don't know how you say that. I'll just, I'll just dump them right here. Okay, you don't have to see me picking them up, but uh, see if this one fits in. Okay, and yes, indeed, America, we have contact. Now, with these two here, I guess since these two are here and... Oh, and none of the other holes match up, so... I am going to vintage guitar hell for doing this. But I'm gonna put these two in. Okay. It's 
And it's not like this is a vintage guitar. Maybe, you know what? I should call Rickenbacker and just see if they'll make up some 4,000 3S bodies with no parts on them. And we can just, uh, you know, get the whole... Why not? Get the whole finished body and just put your own shit into it. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Anyway. It would save a hell of a lot of time and aggravation. So that's there, okay? And now what I'm going to do, I got my handy-dandy drill index that I got from Harbor Freight. And I'm going to find the smallest drill that I can, okay? And you're just going to love me for this one. Or you, or you, or you guitar geeks out there. But hey, you know what? This isn't a vintage guitar. This is a pretty much a new one off the shelf, so I'm going to try and get it centered as closely as possible into here, okay? And ready, steady, go. There's one pilot hole. Let's see how that how that works. Oh God, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Okay. And is that... It looks like it's kind of space correct. And now how's that for space? Do, 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 do. You know what? Whatever, boys. We're too far gone to go back now. Uh, oh, I got one hole that does line up. Cooler rupee. Okay, so that's that's the one that's going to keep the placement here. Okay, guys. I know I got uh, I got people. You know I I think maybe there's 35 people watching these videos right now. But like so many people have been so attentive to this video series because one I guess they love Rickenbackers and two, you know, they don't have much of a life aside from anything else. Kind of like me. So I'm going to leave that there. There's going to be a little gap right here. It's not going to... Oh, fuck. I hate that, though. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be a little, little bit of a gap. Unless I can take this out and find a different hole. So let me just do that. Because, like I said, dudes, you're all in this with me at this point together. We all have a lot invested in this project at this point. And, uh, let's see. <sighs> no, you know what? I'm just doing it this way. There's going to be a little bit of a space between the two pick guard halves and whatever. Okay? And now, for my further spiral to hell. I just want to kind of get it nice and even there. Alright, where's my drill? Okay. Okay. And that's that. Um, you know, if anybody ever wants to try and take and make this thing original, I got to tell you, the reason why I got this is the guy got it from, he basically parts out instruments, okay? And I saw on his site, because you know how on eBay you can say, look at other items, right? Um, wow, that doesn't even get close. You can see where that pick guard was. Fuck. This pick guard is so not accurate. I mean, if this is a 4003, I don't know where the fuck these Japanese got the marks from. I'll just show you right here, okay? And you can barely see it, but you can tell where the pick guard, the old pick guard was. It came out, like, right around there. Like I said, nobody's going to notice from 10 feet away. I'm sure my guitar player won't notice, and he probably won't care, that the pick guard doesn't fit exactly. Um, but what the hell? Oh, well. So all I'm telling you is, if you ever got to do it, don't get the old parts pick guard. It's not that fucking good. And I can say that because, you know what? 
Nobody has given me any money whatsoever. I don't do any endorsement. This is a completely honest assessment of everything here. I spent my own money making this. So, you know what? There is no... This is a completely... Honest assessment of how to do this with these parts. And, you know, I love Hipshot and everybody. And they can call me up and say, Hey, why did you say this about our products? And uh, I got to tell you, maybe if they do watch this video, which I doubt because somebody else told me on this YouTube channel that not even Hipshot has a video on their Rickenbacker replacement bridges, which you would think that, you know, hey, they're making a replacement bridge. You know, like I said about the Seymour Duncan thing, I was talking to my guitar player tonight at practice. I go, don't you think Seymour Duncan would have at least had their R&D team figure out that the screws aren't long enough? I mean, how hard would it be to package this thing with a shorter spring? You don't need a spring this long. You need a short spring and a shorter screw. I mean, God, you know what? They Nobody listens to me because they consider me an idiot. And that's only because I'm a bass player. And I was drunk for half of my life. Although, for the other half of my life that I wasn't drunk, I was actually pretty... Smart guy. I was a troubleshooter for the phone company. You know what? And I gotta tell you, while there were some fucked up guys in that job, none of them was stupid. And none of us were stupid. I mean, you didn't... You didn't need a college degree to be a telephone repairman if they wanted you to have one, they gave it to you. But anyway, you can still see I'm putting the pick guard screws in here. Okay. God, I love this. Oh, well. Where's my other, where's my other bag of screws? I've got my other bag of screws here. There they go. I'll just dump them out right here. Doo -doo -doo. There you go. And here's one more. But anyway, people, I'm glad you stuck with me so far on this. Anybody who's watched all these videos all the way through, put it in the comments, okay? Because I was looking at my, uh, whatever, my logistics on this, this whole thing. See, these screws suck because these are the ones that came with that goddamn jack. And I'm taking them out right now because I don't like them. And I'm going to go look for the other bag of screws that I got from the place where I got the screws. And they're in my boxes somewhere. I got my boxes, some parts. Pots is pots, as they used to say in that chicken commercial. And where the fuck are you, babies? There they are. Look at that. Here's a nice bag of screws. Check that one out. Damn. Let's take these and throw them in the trash. Because they're garbage. They're garbage. They came with the jack plate. And let me tell you, little screws can be quite the uh, biatch. These are a little different than the other. Actually, I got these from a different place. Wow, these go in really nice. High quality. Check that out. Oh, my God. And they don't strip on the slightest under the slightest amount of pressure. Isn't that wonderful, guys? Anybody's watching? I guess I got people watching this from Germany. Because I looked at the uh, analytics of this video. And like it was like video watched from Germany. So whoever's out there from Germany, I got to thank you. Put your name in the comments. Okay. One day I'll make up some merch. And what I'll probably do is just, you know, out of the goodness of my own heart. Send you like, I don't know, uh, Robert Grammer, Uncle Robbie Science Corner bumper sticker. Okay. Wow, these countersink really nice. Although the pick guard is not what I bargained for, but hey, what do you want for twenty-two bucks on eBay? Let me tell you, the pick guard that came off of this, I the I I don't know if it's the one that came off of this, but he had it listed on on eBay for like two hundred and fifty bucks, an original Rick pick guard. The one part that I can't get for this is the um, truss rod cover plate. You know the headstock plate. Because a Rickenbacker, a used one, you know, off a strip base, is like 125 bucks. So Rick, Ricks are worth more in parts 
than they are put together. Well, it came out pretty smooth. So anyway, there you go. That's the thing all freaking stuck together. Now here's the big reveal. I'm gonna pull off the tape. Woo! Check that shit out. Oh my God, don't you love it? Now this one I can't find the edge to. Of course, you know, so whatever. Actually, I think I might just leave this one on here for the time being till I get this all cleaned up, but look how beautiful that is. And what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm gonna get out the guitar polish, okay? And my little chamois cloth. I'm gonna polish this up, all right? Back to me. Ah, I got my hair stuck in my glasses. All right, zoom out, zoom out. Okay. I got my hair, which is perfect. Mm, gotta look beautiful. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is, um, gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take some polish, polish it up. I'm gonna find a set of strings, and I'm gonna string it up. And it won't be intonated, but we're just gonna do a quick sound test, you know, after the stringing, the stringing up of this bass, because if it doesn't sound good, I'm gonna str outside and string myself up, like I said, from that oak tree. Anyway, guys, that being said, you can see my, my patience has really been tried on this project, and I, I'm so glad that you guys have watched it with me. Ha knowing that there's been, you know, 20 or 30 people watching me do this project with me, it's like, it makes me feel like I'm not in this all alone. And I did drop a lot of money, pretty much, just to make this video series. So anyway, guys, take care, be good, keep on rocking in the free world. Good night.